In this video, we look at deploying Skype for Business 2050, which is Microsoft's communication and collaboration platform, along with A10 Thunder ADC. Here is the topology being used for the demo. It consists of two Skype front-end servers, two Edge servers, and two Office Online servers. We also have an AD and a backend SQL server in the internal network. For load balancing traffic to the Skype servers, we have an A10 Thunder ADC divided into four application delivery partitions or ADPs for short. The four ADPs are the internal front end, internal edge, the external edge, and the reverse proxy ADCs. Open a web browser, go to the management IP of the Thunder ADC, and log in using your admin credentials. Once logged in, go to System and then App Templates. Over here, again specify your admin credentials and then log in. Within Skype for Business, you will see the various options, Dashboard, Topology Builder, Wizard and Configuration. First, we will build the network topology by clicking on Topology Builder. If you do not want to use ADPs, you can skip the Topology Builder, in which case you will need one ACOS device per ADC role. Here we will be deploying using ADPs and hence click Next. Define the network parameters for the front-end ADC. Over here, we will use the VLAN 103 instead of the default VLAN 101 which is specified by the app centric templates. Since this is by default meant to be used for the external edge ADC, it will give you a warning duplicate VLAN. You can ignore the warning for now. We will use the interface Ethernet tree and we will create a default static route. Click Save. Click Next. For internal edge ADC, we will use VLAN 401 and the IP address would be 10.0.4.241. The interface with which it will be connected to the network would be Ethernet 2. And then we will again define a static route with the default gateway of 10.0.4.254. Click Next. For external edge ADC, as you can see, it is giving a warning of duplicate VLAN 103 since we had already defined that for the front end ADC. We will change this one to 102 and the corresponding interface IP will be 192.0.2.1. It will be connected using interface Ethernet 4 and then define a static route. Then click Next. The reverse proxy ADC is connected to two networks. The external VLAN will be 105 and the internal VLAN will be 106. The external VLAN interface IP address is 192.0.2.201. And the corresponding physical interface is Ethernet 5. For internal VLAN, the corresponding interface IP address is 10.0.4.201/24, and the corresponding internal interface is Ethernet 6. Then click on static routes to define them as well. Add a default route with a gateway of 192.0.2.254 Also add 
a static route for the network 10.0.3.0. The next stop for this one would be 10.0.4.254. Then click next. The review section gives you an overview of the network settings you have configured so far. If these look fine, click on finish. You will be able to see the equivalent CLI configuration that will be pushed to the Thunder ADC. If this looks fine, click on Apply. This will prompt you with a confirmation that you do want to go ahead and create the necessary ADPs as well as the network configuration. Click OK. Now you will be automatically taken to the Skype for Business wizard where you will be able to define the settings for Skype deployment. This concludes an overview of configuring ADPs and the underlying network infrastructure for deploying Skype for Business. In the next video, we will take a look at how to actually deploy the Skype services on the Thunder ADC.